is the story of a fifth column tree. Its life began in a forest somewhere in Europe. A battle raged underneath its spreading arms. Then it was felled and imported to Britain. But it didn't want to be cut to pieces. This man knows all about fifth column trees. Trees with chunks of concealed shrapnel deeply embedded under the bark. So he uses a wartime technique, an adaptation of the mine detector, to locate the saw band's hidden enemies. Every inch of the tree is tested for the oscillation that means metal and the wreck of a saw band, which besides being costly is difficult to replace. Super sensitive headphones record the danger spots which are marked for special attention. Sometimes it's only a staple used for a wire fence. Often it's a bullet or a spent shell. Either way, a few swift strokes of an axe get rid of the hidden menace. With its teeth drawn, the tree is now ready for the saw. Here at Dartington in Devon, the mills are full out preparing the timber for furniture, farm implements and railway wagons. Works of peace that a wartime invention is helping to speed. And now, another job for the mine detector. Something went wrong when roadmen were repairing a road. They laid the tarmac and forgot to mark where the manhole cover was. Darn it, I know it's somewhere. I remember seeing it. But where? A buzz from his headphones and the searcher knows he's bang over the missing manhole. Any other way but this, and they might have had to tear up the whole road. Action stations break over, and the mine detector tells them within a millimetre where to start digging. And here's what they were looking for. Better tie a piece of string round your finger next time, George. <laughs> 